Hi, I'm Tidlini Horn and I'm not doing any gardening this week. As you can see, I'm not really dressed for gardening. So this week's programme is brought to you by the letters C and T. T, 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 T. I should have kept my mouth shut last week because within 24 hours of me saying I had no blossom end rot, about a dozen of my San Mazzano tomatoes suddenly went black on the ends. Terrific. So I've picked them off and now Thanks to some advice from my fellow YouTubers, I'm going to be feeding them calcium once a week in addition to their regular multi-feed nutrient thingy. The other thing I've had to do is adjust the shading. This poor tomato plant at the end has been absolutely frazzled by the sun. I've cut off a load of very sad looking leaves from the top and I don't know whether these flowers will give me tomatoes or not. The tomato plant at the other end here is the doors showing similar frazzled signs. I hadn't really anticipated just how much of a problem I would encounter simply by sticking the staging on this side rather than on this side, but it is an issue at this time of the year when the sun is so high in the sky. I think come the winter I'll be putting the staging back over there because I can have a lot more control over the shading on this side. Now three of my 12 cauliflower plants started having heads on, but then I blinked. This has gone a bit too far, this one has gone way too far, and this one I can probably salvage, make into a soup probably. So I'm going to cut these two out, the ones that have gone way too far. This one I can probably salvage, there we go. I can make use of that one, that's okay. It's astonished me how things in the garden have accelerated their growth this last week. So much sunshine. I thinned out the k k k carrots and they're doing really nicely now. And the k k k corn is looking superb. Knee high and it's not even the 4th of July. By the way, I'll just show you this. It doesn't begin with k or t, so I can't talk about it. T, 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 t My Taberies are doing really rather nicely this year. I'm going to have quite a crop. And the trick to picking them is pick them when they're really dark. Because that way they come off really easily. Boop and they're at their sweetest and juiciest. Mm, mm, mm. They'll go really nicely with some ice cream for tea tonight. Let's try this one. Things like Tabris and other similar fruit, which I can't name because they don't begin with T or C, are my absolute favourites. I kid you not, I was on my hands and knees for over an hour weeding this lot by hand. Mind you, the alisum is looking rather lovely. And the lobelia are just coming into flower and provide a nice contrast. Goodness, that sun's bright. Now you're probably thinking, well, weeding doesn't begin with k or t, but it's okay to talk about weeding because, well, it's my show and I choose what we talk about. I've got lots more weeding to do next week, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in t t Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.